All right, this is going to be chapter 11, 100%. Keep in mind, you have to do apples before this. All right. Um, so a few things to note about this IL. It is a one-go hundo. A pretty easy one-go hundo, too. Uh, here's the legendary treasure, by the way. It's like right at the beginning. Uh, this is one of four 100 uh, one-go hondos. There might be more to come. We don't know. Uh, there's an earth gate, and it's this one's basically just all stealth off, honestly. Um, we'll open the earth gate with Bash, as he has the best RNG. Terrafin might as well, but I'm not familiar with Terrafin. I know Dino. I tested it earlier. Dino rang a prison break, not as good. So. Plus, since we use Bash anyway, like, it's pretty convenient. It's kind of a bad fight. Uh, what else? Oh, by the way, here's Stealth of Soul Gem. Finally. <laughs> this is the halfway point for me in doing 100% IL, so that's nice. Um, props to Duvid for finding that this was done in one go. Uh, he already has a run of this done in one go on the leaderboard. By the way, we're going to take a lot of damage. Uh, we do use Ghost Roaster just once and for a brief moment. Actually, I don't think we need to. I'm going to try not to. We'll see what happens. I have not carefully routed this. I spent a lot of time doing... Uh, the uh, Earthgate lock puzzle, which I have the pattern for at least. Um, also, uh, what else? I don't think there's much else. Uh, fortunately for this IL, we only have to fight the boss fight once. Alright, so try not to throw these. Uh, I'm gonna see. I don't think there's like anything I need to use the motion controls for. I'm gonna try chasing this guy off. Uh, okay, usually he just chases off. I've never seen him attack like this before. Alright, so when we get here. I'm gonna put Bash on, and he's gonna open the gate. Bash is gonna do a funny thing, but don't worry. That, that's just dependent on your position, and I was positioned badly, but Stealth Up can open this, so whatever. I did not know this was possible, actually, but until that happens, so it's not the first time I've seen this. Anyway, block puzzle. So try to remember this pattern. Lots of things to do here. There might actually be a faster pattern. Uh, it, it'll say it's slower, but it might be faster. I don't know. Uh, I did some, I, don't, I forget what it was, but there was something weird I did that moved pretty quickly. But it wasn't a perfect score. And it wasn't that quick, I just did some like cool turning optimizations. By the way, uh, I'm pretty confident you can't zook, zook clip past this gate. You cannot warrant need of jump, I tried that. And I tried zook clipping, I could not get it to work. And it'd be nice if I could, that way I don't have to switch to Ghost Rifter later. Eh, well, now we guess we don't have to, but... All depends. Depends where this goes. Uh, there's a teleporter there. Oh. Anyway, we're gonna enter a little fight. Oh, that's right. Okay, so yeah, we will need to switch to Ghost Roaster. So do not collect the rockets again, as I did. I mean, unless you want to use it for attacking, I guess. You get here, you can just jump off the side, which I did not know you could do. Uh, anyway, so yeah, for Ghost Roaster, we're going to switch to him soon, but not yet. So, when you get the second set of rockets, uh, you do not need to go back and collect the third. So, uh, it's, all, it's all good. So, 
sorry about my game audio. I knew there was one more enemy, dang it. I was like, I, I, but I missed one. All right. And that's it for collectibles, I believe. Now it's just enemy count and timestamp, which should be done all in one. Anyway, we're gonna switch to Ghost Dresser here. My Ghost Dresser's all the way across the floor, but I somehow picked him up. Anyway, we're just gonna ectoplasm. This is barely faster, but it is faster. What would be faster would be to go back and collect the rockets, but since, yeah, since this is a one go hundo, we have to collect a hat, and in order to open the hat, you have to shake the remote, so. Same with the chests. So, unfortunately, we do not have, unfortunately, we have to use Ghost Drifter. You can also collect the third set of rockets, which you never collect, but you can try that if you want. Part of the reason I'm not, like, too into this IL is it's already been routed. I don't know if the lock puzzle's been routed. Oh, wait, oops. That's my fault. Not bad. Anyway, so we just have a boss fight. Nothing interesting. Just make sure you do the classic uh, boss fight optimizations. Maybe get an unload or two. Um, so, info on the next few chapters, I guess. Shoot, where am I? That's kind of bad. Info on the next few chapters. Chapter 12 is, as far as I know, the last one go hundo. There are two other chapters, actually three other chapters, I believe, where you get some collectibles and then restart the chapter. That doesn't count for me as a one-go hundo. Uh, that's what I like to say. Uh, it's the term for you do everything in one go. You don't restart the chapter. But there's three chapters where you like get some collectibles and then restart and mix the enemy count with the timestamp. Uh, that also means warping in that chapter. And those chapters are sort of useless. However, warping in chapter 22, which is one of the chapters I'm referring to, uh, is not useless. There's a warp you can set up. Well, at least I believe. Uh, we were, I was theorizing earlier today. Thanks, Don, for the suggestion. Also, info on me doing a full 100% run. If you're interested, I'm going to be streaming it on Twitch. Oops. Man, I'm doing... I'm not focused. Uh, I'll be streaming it on Twitch. I don't know if I'll be using a capture card. Depends if I have an HDMI splitter by then. Uh, but it will be streamed. This is not a good boss fight, dude. Yeah, if you want to see how to do a real boss fight, watch the 80% run. Anyway, we're going to do one of my favorite things to do. Just try not getting hit here. Uh, anyway, after, after 12, 13, 14, they're all, I, I think they're, those are all pretty substantial. Uh, I don't... I think there's warping in both, I think. Because you cannot mix enemy... Uh, well, you, you can mix enemy count and timestamp for 14, but it's faster to just warp. Uh, so. We're going to do warping. And we'll, we'll, it would just be a warp to the bomb at the end. Alright, so if you want an unload, best method of doing this is by avoiding stealth off and then trying to kill these two. I'm probably not going to get it, but your best bet is by trying to mix Stump Smash and Zoop. Oh wait, I might actually get one with Stealth Up here. Stealth Up right there? Stealth Up is right there. I might get one. Not quite. Getting the first one's hard, getting the second one's easy. If you get one, all depends on the enemies. Anyway, that's going to be it for Chapter 11 Hondo. Pretty generic one, all done in one go. Uh, oops. Uh, I'll show you the results. Ho hopefully I got good results. Uh, We'll see. Yeah, we're good. Uh, and that is chapter 11 for you. All done in one go. It's a pretty fun one, honestly. It's kind of boring. It's just kind of a bland, basic IL. But there's nothing complicated to it. So if you uh, want to give this one a shot, please do so. And uh, yeah, thank you for watching.